part of what's interesting for me has been not just thinking about my history with clay, but thinking about how these acts of production are really valuable as kind of experiences that could play out in urban space. That, that if you take a person who has good hand ability with a space and a kind of design outlet, a, a place where these things can live, is it possible for me to create these temporary economies, use the two months, three months to like create a training environment, a kind of learning skills transference space? In a way, it looks like a, a ceramic manufacturing company. But that's actually not the point. I think it's, it's more a stand-in for the possibility of emerging uh, culture and maybe a reflection on the value of um, low material in the context of contemporary practices. What are the things that are often uh, missing in a space of production? An acknowledgement of the people who make is often missing so that those people become anonymous a care for the physical needs of the people who are making, uh, some concern about um, health and, and happiness and that. And then um, places of production aren't meant to be places where fun happens. And so is there a way in which the gallery space and the art world and the worlds of hospitality could teach us something about generosity um, in, other, in other modes of work? And so a lot of, a lot of what, what you'll see is, you know, there's some yoga happening. We have a, a person who's a reader who comes in and reads a couple times a week. There's a DJ who's playing music. It's like my utopic making situation. Um, and so, yeah, over the course of the week, somebody could stop in and watch a maker making and hear some really good Brazilian, some Cuban salsa, some house music from Chicago. Or you could come in and find out what the yoga schedule is and, and uh, take a small yoga class, you know. You know, in some ways, you can say that it's like an extension of um, the way my shop runs in Chicago. Um, that, that in addition to making works of art, um, we make other things. You know, we, we help our neighbors build porches. We, you know, we, we make things that are useful in the neighborhood just because we have this excess skill. Um, this is the first time that, in this form, soul manufacturing has appeared and then we hope that it'll go other places maybe. Our hope is that um, it would accumulate new hand ability, new branding potential, um, new forays into what's missing in a particular place and how our skill might be useful there. And then maybe new trained folk that can continue to do the thing um, once, once we're gone.